Hey there, welcome to day 13 of our countdown to the Live Challenge Workshop. Live Challenge Workshop launches March 23rd and we are gonna teach you, you're gonna learn in five days how to create a challenge of your very own for the people that you serve, to attract the people you wanna serve and to get them a result so that they will come back to you for more and more and more. It's one of the best ways I've found to launch and share your expertise and what you do with people it's nothing better than giving value and giving somebody a result is the best way you can give them value and if you can do it in five days if you can do it in less than a week people are attracted to that everybody wants instant gratification and instant results these days I uh, hang out with my four-year-old granddaughter and I I can't believe I mean she wants it now and she wants me to be a mind reader and I think we're doing this generation a disservice thinking that and believing that everything is instantaneous and everything they want because it's not right Part of why I'm doing a countdown, the top 20 biggest lessons that I've learned in my 47 years of business, in addition to 25 plus years in corporate America. There's been a lot, a lot of stuff has gone really, really well, but a lot of stuff has tanked and gone really bad. And if I can save anyone one of those mistakes, I feel like I'm doing my job. So today, day 13, our, our top 20 countdown to the challenge. Today is all about focusing on what you want. I think I've mentioned that I'm not doing these in any order. I just brainstormed a list of, hey, these are the top 20 things, the top 20 lessons that I can right off the top of my head know that I've learned in the last 47 years. <laughs> and so they're not in any like priority order, they're just in a random order. Because one of the very first things you have to identify and know is, what the heck do you want? What do you want? And then once you know what you want, what we talked about yesterday, why the heck do you want it, right? The thing about wanting things, there's, there's this pressure on us to identify what we want, but then there's, there's pressure on us to act like we don't deserve it or somehow we, we aren't good enough to get what we want or to have what we want. And that only happens usually, we judge it ourselves, but usually when we tell other people, if you tell other people you're gonna create a, a business, any type of business, a lot of people will freak out. Why? Because most people don't and never will have their own business or will never start their own business. So if they can't imagine themselves doing it, it's really hard for them to imagine you doing it. And then if you do it, it opens up this world of possibility because now you've set the example and they ask themselves, well, if my friend Sharon could do it, what the heck is holding me back? Why couldn't I do it? I mean, she's not that smart. She's not that hardworking. She's not that special. If she can do it, well, that means I could probably do it too. And sometimes people like that because it motivates them. And other times they hate that because they realize that they could do more and be more and have more because you've set the example. Anyway, what we want, we resist it because we don't want to lose relationships or, or for whatever pain or fear or reason, but we always want it. And the thing about humans, no matter what we get, no matter how much we get, no matter what we achieve, we always want more. It's built into our DNA, I think. It's built into our souls and our beings. We always want more. So if I want a new car, I'm happy with that new car for a short period of time, like maybe a couple of weeks. If it's a super duper nice car, maybe a couple of months. But for the most part, after I've driven it for a little while and I get used to it, all of a sudden, I'm gonna want a, a different car, another new car, a better car, right? We do that with absolutely everything. Morning, Amanda. So. We, we think that we're gonna get done. We think we're gonna stop wanting things, but it's it's a lie. We're never gonna stop wanting things. We're always gonna want things. But there there's a double-edged sword there because we'll always want things, but we, and we have to work toward them, but we have to remember that we have to be specific about the things that we want. We have to call it out. My dad was amazing. He's like, you know, goals and things, you have to write them down. He learned early on in his career and in his life that Writing down goals has a lot of power in it. Writing down anything has tremendous power. People resist taking notes and writing things down, but the secret is writing things down is really powerful. Number one, it helps you remember. Number two, it helps to create that in your world. So if I hadn't done this brainstormed list of the top 20 lessons I've learned, I probably wouldn't be doing these videos every day because I wouldn't have created them. But since I wrote them down, it's just like writing down what we want it helps to create that thing. It makes it more real for us and anything that's more real for us in our belief system and our imagination is faster and easier for us to achieve. So know what you want, decide, identify what you want. Know that whatever you select, you're not saying no to everything else because I think that's a fear people have. I know when I came online from the offline world and even in the offline world, I will admit, 
I had a hard time deciding what kind of business I wanted to be in. What did I want to do? It's part of why I did so many different businesses, but uh, I, I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. But the truth is, we don't have to decide on just one thing, but we should do, and it's easier for us if we do one thing at a time. If we start with one thing, build on that, and then add another thing and another thing. And it wasn't until I learned that that my businesses really took off. I used to try to do too many things at once in the offline world, which I repeated that same mistake in the online world, by the way. I still try to do too many things, and it's like serving two masters. Have you ever had two bosses? It's terrible because they each have their own priorities for you, and they each give you different direction, and then you have to balance and decide, okay, which boss am I going to please now? It's the same thing when you're building more than one business at a time. Until you build that business, put your systems in place, and it can run on autopilot, you're going to have that struggle. So pick one thing. Decide what you want. Pick that one thing, and then go for it, but you have to pick the one thing. Knowing that, you're not saying no to the others because you're always going to get to pick more and something else after you achieve that one thing. So what do you want? Uh, if you ask 10 people on the street, and I've actually done this experiment, if you ask 10 people on the street what do they want, 9 out of 10 of them cannot tell you. They will list off all of the things that they don't want, but they can't actually tell you what they do want. And if you want to be ahead of everyone else, just decide on something and start going for it. Pick the thing that you want, be clear about it, write it down, write it down on a scrap of paper, stick it in your pocket or your wallet or your purse and hide it away, but know that you've written it down and it's always there. And that puts your subconscious to work, working toward that, achieving that thing and getting that thing that you want. So that's our lesson learned for today. Pick what you want, commit to it, document it, write it down, and then see how fast it shows up in your world. Have an awesome day. I will be with you tomorrow with day 12 of our countdown, number 12 of our countdown. I can't see what it is, but I, I'm sure it's a good lesson learned, and I'm sure I learned it the hard way. <laughs> All right, catch you tomorrow. If you have any questions, if there's any lessons you have a question about that you're wondering if I learned that, ask in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow.